Greetings, astronomy people. I just wanted to share a quick uh, what's new uh, at Neve 2024. And um, really quick, first up is Airy Disc. I have photos of uh, their uh, booth. And it seems like they're a, a new old uh, telescope manufacturer. Uh, we'll let Rolf from Airy Disc tell you. Hello, my name is Rolf. I'm from Airy Disc. We're a manufacturer from China and we're making and we're making uh, refractors. Um, we have been making refractors for 30 years and this is our new lineup using Hoya FCD 100 glass. We've been making the optics for other famous Chinese um, refractor brands for the last 17 years. Um, three years ago we designed our new Apple lineup around the Hoya FCD 100 glass and the doublet around the Hoya FCD 1 glass. For large refractors like our 8 inch we're using um, fluoride glass um, from CDGM. We're currently um, producing our first batch for the US, which will arrive in June, and we work with all retailers like Gina Astro, Woodland Hills, um, to sell our products in the US. Of course, you can always contact us directly. We do interferometric testing in red, and we provide a report, and we also provide you pictures of the interferometers in green, so you can check them yourself. All of our telescopes have a, a dedicated uh, field flattener or reducer, um, our <coughs> largest triplet is the 200 millimeter 8 inch um, triplet. It weighs 50 pounds and costs 15,000 US dollars. It has removable elements on the back if you use a bino viewer or have you know, short eyepieces. Um, this is our reducer full frame. It has a tray inside for a filter and we will make a 55 millimeter imaging circle reducer in the future. This is our largest uh, FCD 100 refractor, 140. Um, it also comes with a 092 field uh, reducer, uh, field flatter and reducer. It's a triplet. This is our largest doublet. It's in six inch F5. It can be reduced to 4.6. And this is our astro imaging champion. He's highly corrected. He has a 099 strain in red, a very high strain in green and blue. It has a dedicated 075 uh, reducer which brings you to uh, 4.9 and uh, 500 millimeters. Awesome. What are the prices for these? The, this one costs $1,800 okay. and um, the Field flatten reducer costs 300. This one costs 3,300. This one costs 4,000. And our largest one costs uh, 15. Very nice. Rolf, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Next up is Spectrum Optical Instruments in Miro Sky. Uh, they've partnered together uh, to bring intro astrophotography and astronomy uh, to beginners. Uh, Spectrum is focusing on bringing small uh, Mac casts to beginners. We'll let Hints explain more. Hi, uh, this is Hints. I'm the founder of uh, Spectrum Optical Instruments. So today we come uh, we, we come here at Neve with another brand. This is Mirror Sky. We're the exclusive dealer and distributor for Mirror Sky, and Mirror Sky is actually bringing us a very a set of very exciting products. So we have the Mini AZ. Uh, this is priced at about $500 and we have this hybrid um, harmonic gear and worm gear EQ mouse. This is priced at around $1100. This is the same form factor but this is actually a worm gear plus a worm gear design. So this is also $1100. And this is what we call the, um, the AZ. This is the uh, AZ-127. This is priced at about $800. Um, the price is not finalized yet, but it will uh, it will be roughly the same. So it's not going to be a lot uh, huge difference. So these will come onto the market in July this year, and then uh, we'll be have the availability to ship in July. And then for Spectrum, we carry anything uh, from 60 millimeter, 50 millimeter to the 150, like we have in the back. So here is one of our new products. It's a 70 millimeter Mac on a travel tra uh, travel Tripod. That's the same 70 millimeter Mac on this AZ uh, tripod. So this tripod actually 
uh, have fine tune on both axes. It's really good for um, observing uh, planets and the moon. So that's the, our products. They come together, or you can they find come, them separate. Everything you see here comes in one box. Okay. Yeah. So oh. one box, one box, and one box. And for this AG30 series, they actually come with a travel bag, so it protects your telescope as you. Uh, Go in your car, carry it every, anywhere, or go to California from New York. What are the prices for uh, these? So for these, for some, something like this, it's priced at one seventy nine. So you, you see, everything you get here is one seventy nine. This is seventy nine dollars, and then it includes all the accessories, the tripod, the telescope, and the back. This is going to be priced at one forty nine, and you see everything here as well: the tripod, accessory, telescope. And we also have some uh, handheld microscope as well. Um, they're priced at around $18. And it comes with sample slices, not that many, but it comes with two. Our second gen will have five more colors, a total of eight, and then um, eight sample slices and two blank slices, so you can actually do your own slice. And then for this telescope, it actually comes with a pretty nicely uh, designed color box. It's good for a gift and um, you know, just have, have, have fun for the kids. I needed more on Mirror Sky. So on this guy, this is actually our hybrid system. So it has the uh, worm gear on the deck, and more importantly, it has the harmonic gear on the RA. So for this one, you basically need, what, what you need is a pretty precise and rough uh, polar alignment. And then the camera here has the computer integrated into it. So all you need to do is control this through a phone. And the user, after they purchased it and set this up, the only thing you need is care about what telescope you put on it and what cameras you do. So everything else is on your phone. You just need to control the, the uh, you, you just need to, to basically have fun with the telescope and try it. Everything else is done by our mouse here. I'm very interested by the uh, Skywatcher Wave 100. It's a harmonic drive mount uh, that can mount two OTAs and uh, slewing pretty fast. Pretty cool. The slew rate is fast enough. It's about 10 degrees a second, so you can actually track satellites. Wow. Which is kind of a thing that people are getting into nowadays with. with you know, the ISS, the Chinese space station, all the Starlink satellites. Great for outreach, you can use, you know, one hooked up to a monitor or your tablet. You can use one for visual. Then you can also throw an EQ mode and do long exposure astrophotography. And it's still just... This thing you can put into EQ mode? Yeah, and it's just crazy light. You know, oh, wow. it's, it's nothing. Even with two scopes. Yeah, you can basically drop one of the saddles it'll ask you if you want to start out eq or az and that'll it'll slew to that and the counterweight will basically go where the saddle is or really i mean you probably depending on what you're using you won't even really need a counterweight it's just there as an option in case you really want to go big on this kind of scope this is uh 22 to 33 pounds 22 without 33 with the counterweight this one's 33 to 55 uh, the brand new, we just got them on like Thursday, so they're not quite shipping yet, but our dealers, I think, are going to be starting to take some orders. These will probably start shipping in July, maybe August. How much? 1700-ish. I think it's a just under 17, just under 2200, and then you can do the optional, you know, pier extension, the uh, carbon fiber tripod, all that good stuff. I think that one, everything all together, winds up at about 2000. So it's still, you know. No, it's still very good. Yeah, it's not really a lot of money for what you're getting. Last but not least, uh, Sightron Japan uh, opera glasses that are binoculars. Very light, um, good light gathering, and I, th I think these will be really good for just scanning the night sky. Um, you could hold these better than binoculars. Um, magnification, not so much, but uh, opens up. Uh, your you know aperture uh, 40 millimeters and I think the other one was a 50 or 48 um, and I put them on and they, uh, I could definitely see how uh, it could be good for outreach um, opening up people's eyes um, to the night sky um, in the f 
field of view um, is very expansive, and uh, I want one. Uh, lastly, they are also making a uh, strain wave uh, harmon harmonic drive uh, mount also. Uh, it looks pretty beefy. I think this one might be able to carry a lot of weight. It's not out yet, uh, but uh, they have plans to uh, continue uh, making. It's still in development. I don't have too much information, uh, but it looks uh, very um, well-made uh, and uh, high quality. Um, so, you know, something to look forward to. Um, thank you for uh, following me and uh, watching the video. Uh, if you like what you see, please give me a like and uh, please subscribe. And I hope to uh, make more. Thank you. Bye-bye.